I just spent $777 on this mystery box. And do you know what I think about it? Grimes and today I'm fired up. I, I'm in pro wrestling mode right now. We get a box from uh, Journey to the Mystery Box and I was super excited about this. This box was $777. They showed some awesome keys, tons of stuff. The um, community on Instagram was going nuts over this and I saw one or two of the videos dropped and let's just say I'm not very optimistic about what's happening with this. So this one I'm gonna do a little bit different than what I normally do. Normally I just add a total once the video is over and put a total down below. I'm still gonna add that total down below here, but as we go through this, I'm going to actually look up the books to see what it is, because a lot of these boxes I saw so far, I saw two unboxings and they were undervalued. So I'm a little nervous about this. Um, we'll see what happens, man. Now, those that are new to the channel, I am an independent professional wrestler. I'm also a modern day treasure hunter. So if you like this type of stuff, make sure that you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. All right, so this is, this is weird. It says open with Batman Wolverine Ghost Rider slabs. So we got some loose books here. Got Spider-Man on this one, custom. Looks like a, um, he drew some pictures on these, which is super cool, man. Like that is a nice touch. So there's a Spider-Man one. There is a Venom one. These are, all right, it says open with Venom and Spider-Man slabs, so. Huh. Actually, I'm confused here. So, hold on, let me go look. All right, so I actually, I actually bought two of these boxes. Yeah. So I bought two of these boxes and I am very nervous to see how this is going to turn out. So I'm actually going to open up both of them. I was going to do a separate video, but apparently these boxes go together with each other. So I'm uh, really nervous on how this is going to turn out. Because this one says open with slabs, but there's only, there's only two slabs in that box. Huh, all right. Well, let's see here. So, so there's the Batman one, Batman slab. Has on the front of it. This has Wolverine slab. And this is a Ghost Rider slab, all right? So let's start off with the, this is open with Batman, Wolverine, and Ghost Rider slab. So let's start with these loose books first. And then we'll see. So, so yeah, I bought two boxes, seven hundred seventy-seven dollars each, and I'm nervous as hell. I'm not gonna lie. So, I may get fired up here as we go through. We'll see. This first one, let's go through. I'll show it to you guys first. What do we got here? Has a price tag of thirty-five dollars. All right, so what we got here is Deadpool number two from 1994. He has a value of, as you can see in the back here, I don't know if you can see that, but 35 bucks. So I looked on eBay, last one sold on January 6th for $17. And then one sold on December 24th for $3. And, uh, one sold on December 16th for $16. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll say it's a $15 book. So we'll keep a running tab here too going. 
15 bucks. All right, here we go, book two. This is not off to a good start. All right, what we got? Deadpool number one, okay. There's a bunch of spine ticks on this one. But let's take a look at this one here. All right, so last copy sold January 10th for $11. December 31st for $5. One so December 7th for $7. $35. And it says $35 in the back. So right now, the first two books he has valued at $70. And I'll give him seven bucks for that one. So we're at literally at 22 bucks total. All right, what we got here next? All right, what we got? Wolverine, number eight. All right, this is a cool book. This is actually a really hot book, man, lately. Wolverine with the Incredible Hulk on the front of it, man. This is actually a really cool book. It's actually a book I wanted. Uh, he has a $150 price tag on this book. I mean, there's no way that, <laughs> that book's $150. No possible way, man, especially in I mean, there's scuffs on here. There's spine ticks. Like, man. All right, January 11th for 50 bucks. I mean, they're only selling 50 bucks, $64. I mean, 55. That seems like they're pretty much being the average here, man, going back, I mean. January 6th, 60 bucks. January 5th, 45 bucks. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll say 60 bucks on this one. He has a $150 price tag on it. <sighs> Man, I'm, I'm just afraid to look. I'm literally afraid to look at the rest of these. Like, it's just. All right, what do we got here? Marvel Comics presents Weapon X. All right. I know Weapon X stuff is hot. I mean, he has a $10 te uh, price on that one. I mean, Weapon X, last one sold January 2nd for $2. <laughs> December 11th for eight bucks. December 8th for two bucks. I mean, th November 30th for $1.50. So, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Yeah. All right, let's add that to the total here. I'll, I'll give him benefit down six, five bucks. All right, so we're at $87 total. I mean, so far he has 35, 70, 150, 160 plus 70, 230 right here, and I'm at $87. So our conversation with him was, Hey, I'm, I'm interested in buying this. I bought this mystery box because I got refunded from the Dork Reeves and I had extra cash. I was gonna buy one for myself, but since I got refunded for the other one, I decided to buy two. There's a lot of keys and stuff in here that I was interested in and it's not looking good right now. All right, what do we got here? It has a $10 tag on it. Giant size annual X-Men. Bro, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 spine, 13, four, I mean, there's like 14 spine ticks. There's a little crease in the cover. Like, I'm not even look this one up. He has a $10 price tag. I'm gonna say two bucks, just based on the condition. Man. This one has very fine 6.0 on it. So, very intrigued to see what this one is because Amazing Spider-Man 200. Okay. I'm a big Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man fan. I mean, corners Nick there. But I mean, he did say it was a 6.0. I mean, eh, looks like a 6.0. I mean, I had to look at the back cover and stuff like that, but he has a $25 price tag on that one. That's fine. All right. So, 
a 5.5 on January 8th sold for $12.50. January 4th, a copy sold for best offer less than 20 bucks. Yeah. A 6.5 graded by CGC sold for $22.50. So, I mean, you can't put you can't put CGC pricing on this. It's not in a slab, it's a loose book. I mean, January 1st, someone has one on eBay, sold for $12. It was, they put it as a seven to slash eight. So he has $25 this one, say 10 bucks. Man. All right. This is this is different. This is tough, man. I'm not gonna lie. All right, what we got here? Death of Superman. Ugh, Fifteen dollars. This is not a fifteen dollar book. I mean, I know for a fact. I mean, this is one of the most produced books out there. I mean, you can literally pick these up anywhere to go for two bucks. So put fifteen dollars on this one, and yeah. So far, I'm at one hundred and one dollars. I mean. Here we go. There's a $15 price point on this one here. Third appearance of Hog Album. I mean, it is a new stand, but it's 1983. There's a small rip at the very top. It looks like there's dirt, man. Like a big thing of a smudge or something on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but at the very top, there's actually a rip in the top of this book. I mean, I can tell you right now, that's definitely not going to be a $15 book, man, in that condition. Like, I just pray, I pray, and for my sake here, that, that freaking, these slabs are, are bangers. I mean, okay, 244, this is what this is, a 245 sold together for five bucks. Um, one sold for 15, one for 19, 15, one sold for 750. You know, I would, so they are selling, okay, one sold for 20, that's a 9.2. One just sold for 650 and 20 bucks. I mean, I would say based off the condition, there's a rip, literally a rip on the top right here and a big smudge on the front of it. I mean, I have no idea what the back looks like, but it definitely needs a press and a cleaning. I mean, I, I would probably put, put like a, you know, five to seven bucks on this one. So I'll give you seven bucks for benefit of the doubt. To the slabs here. So he said to open these with the other one. I don't want to look at it here. So I'm going to show you guys first, but <laughs> I'm not very. Uh... All right. So I did see the grade, but I don't know what the book is. So let's show you guys first. There's the grade. As you can see, and what is this? Star Wars War of Bounty Hunters Alpha 1 Black Armor Edition. All right, he had a hundred dollar value on this book. Not my thing, but you know, let's see what this goes for. Black Armor variant. All right, so $79. We have one for $87, one for $66. One sold October for 99, but this go by November, December, I mean, so averaging about 80 bucks for that. So I'll give them 80 bucks. You know, when you do mystery boxes, the whole purpose of this is, is to give more value than what your, your customers buying. If I'm spending $777 on this box and you tell me it's going to be overvalued, it should be overvalued. And, uh, yeah, this is this is not good so far, man. Not good at all. So I'm actually dreading the rest of these, to be honest with you, man. So let's see this one here. So I'm not looking at this one here. This one he has an estimated value, I think, of a hundred bucks on the back of it. All right, let's see what it is. Oh, come on, man. An 8.0, I 
at a hundred bucks. Like, not even close. <sighs> this is not, no, this is not a hundred dollar book right now. Like, no possible way there's a hundred dollar book. I mean, I know this book got hot over there for a while there, but this is not a hundred dollar book. Well, let me double check, make sure you have a hundred on that. All right, let me take that back. You actually had ninety dollars on this, all right? Still, this is not a ninety dollar book. A 9.0 just sold for $49.99. A 9.6 sold for $90. He has a $90 value on this book. Like, what does an 8.0 sell for? One sold November 24th. All right, for $100 or best offer. But I mean, if you look at all, all the recent prices, I mean, I bought this at Christmas time. So those prices were dropping tremendously. I mean, if you go buy what one that was actually sold and sent out, I mean, December 12th, it was $90 for a 9.6. Like, this is just, this is bad. Now. We'll, we'll put a $50 price on the, not even, I mean, the 9.0 is still for that less now. I mean, I'll put 40 bucks on this one, man. So, I mean, we're literally at like $228 worth of stuff, I mean. So, all right, so let's see the last slab we got here. What do we got? Oh, okay. X-Men 12 is a 0.5. What, what value did he have on this one? $300 value, an X-Men 0.5, number 12. I mean, super cool book. 0. 0.5 or 300. I don't know. I need, I mean, I, I'm intrigued. I need, I mean, super cool book to have. I mean, I know a lot of these old, older Silver Age X Men books are difficult and uh, can bring big bucks, but. All right. So, spent some time. I did go online. I tried to look for some comps on this. Um, so, let's talk about this. X Men number 12. Super cool book to get, man. Super cool. It's a 0. 0.5, though. 0.5 um, is the origin of Professor X. It's also the first appearance of Juggernaut. Um, so it actually presents a lot better than a regular, than a 0.5 would be. The reason for it going to 0.5 on the back, if you can see, see the picture right here. There's actually missing half the cover here. So I went online. It was really hard to find a comp for a 0.5. So I wanted to go collect. They had a 2.0 that sold for 675 was a fair market value. Um, he has an estimated value of $300 on this. I would say because everything else has been off pricing so far, I wouldn't put a value of $300. I'll say probably a 1.0, maybe around the three to $400 range, possibly in there. So I'm saying this is probably more than, more like a $200 book, $250 maybe. Hard to gauge. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I'll say $250 for that. Puts us at about $478, about $300 off. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say, man. That's really, really bad. But let's jump in these other ones here. So far, we're so far not good, but I'm gonna actually do a combined total for both boxes to try to see what we got. Um, these next two slabs right here. Let's say some loose books right here. All right. Man, this is this is brutal. So I'm bust up this next one here. There's two more slabs to go, but let's start with these books here first. Here we go, book number one. Let's see here in this one. Gotta see it here first, what we got. All right, so Amazing Spider-Man number one right here. Um, this is actually paying homage to New Mutants 98. It says the variant limit to 3,000 copies. He has a $25 price point on it. All right, so I searched all over. Um, this is actually Amazing Spider-Man 802 in the Legacy Run. Uh, number one here, this is actually a New Mutants 98, hom um, paying homage to uh, New Mutants 98. This is limited to 3,000 copies. He has a $25 price tag on this one. But last comp, I mean, there's not a lot listed, but uh, one did sell on eBay for 50 bucks. So he actually undervalued this one. But... All right, I mean, I'd rather be undervalued than overvalued, so 
So add another 50 bucks to it. All right, here we go, next one. What do we got here? The Eternals, number 12. All right. He has a $30 value on this one here. Um, let's take a look. All right, so last one sold for $12. That was on January 11th. He had one sold on January 5th for $6.50. He had one sell on December 30th for $9.49. He had one sell on Christmas, a day after Christmas for $18. And then another one sold on Christmas Eve for nine dollars, and one sold on Christmas Eve for three dollars. So, uh, I'm gonna say he has thirty bucks on this. I'm gonna say it's a ten dollar book. All right, here we go next. All right, you guys look at it first. What we got? Star Wars number fifty one. And this has a bunch of spine ticks on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is in rough shape. And he has a $5 tag on that one. I'm not even gonna look it up. I'm assuming it's a... So I, I pulled up Key Collector to try to see if it was a key or anything like that. And it didn't, it's not even listed on there. So I'm gonna say this is like, based on the condition, man, it's probably a two, three dollar book, man. It's, I would, just bad. I mean, his spine ticks all over the corners, all nicked up. I mean, there's, it's literally, it's creased down here in the corner. It's actually missing a chunk of the corner there. I mean, two bucks. All right, next book here. What do we got here? You guys see that? Let's see. Spawn number eight. McFarland cover. I mean, it's 15 bucks on it. Early spawn. He has 15 bucks on it. Last one sold December, or January 9th for five bucks. One sold on the 11th for $2.50. One sold for $5.95 best offer. Yeah. Eight nine nine best offer. So, I mean, I'll put, and I feel like I'm being generous when I say this because there's spine tick. I'll put $5 on that one, man. I mean, just man there better be some really big slabs in here because i don't at this point it's i don't even know what to say man like i'm just man here we go dr strange number 50. all right So I can't tell, I mean, this bag is just messed up, but it's not the book, so that's good. Here's a $10 value on this one. I've seen this one before. It's probably like a $5 book, but. All right, last one sold. January 12th for $5.99. A new stand sold for 11 bucks. This is no new stand. One sold for six, one for three. Yeah, well, I was right. I'll give him five bucks for it. Put five bucks to the list. <laughs> We're literally sitting at like 550 bucks worth of stuff here so far. I mean, uh, this is just not, not good. And that's it. That's all for the Rawls, man. Now it's on to the slabs. So, whew, man. I will say one of the cool things that he did do with this box, and it's actually a cool, kind of a cool positive to get with this, he actually covered up all the the slabs so you wouldn't see what you get and then what he did was he actually drew pictures on each one so no idea what this one is he has a price point on this one so i'm trying not to see it so i can show you guys first that's the back all right not looking show you guys first all right what do we get Incredible Hawk 182. All right. Ah, it's a green label. The value stamp is missing. Does not affect the story. Still, put a hundred dollar value on that one. It's a 4.0. Green label. All right. So 
as many people know, one of the most famous runs out there is The Incredible Hulk 180, which is the cameo appearance of Wolverine. And then 181 is his first appearance. And then 182, which has a cameo in here, which some people say is the second appearance of, of Wolverine. Some people don't, but it's weird that CGC actually put on here um, Wolverine cameo on the first page. But a lot of people say this is his second appearance. So he has this listed as 100 bucks. So a 4.0 blue label sold on Christmas for $175 on eBay. Uh, a 4.0 purple label, which is has rest, uh, was restored, sold for a buck sixty. So I would say a 4.0, 100 bucks. I mean that sounds fair. So 100 bucks. I mean cool book to add to the collection. Um, first green label. So still 100 bucks. We're at $650, and I spent almost $1,600 on everything. Yeah, so this better be a banger, but I saw the value which he had in the back of this one, and it's nowhere near the $1,000 I should be sitting at. So, I will have to deal with this after this video is over. I am super nervous though about this one. Really, really nervous. He has a ven Venom on it. I mean, please be this the redeeming book of this box. Please, please, please. All right, what do we got here? Show it to you guys first. I haven't looked. Don't know what it is. What do we got? Oh, okay. Spider-Man number nine. That is actually really freaking cool, man. That is really cool. I am a huge Spider-Man fan, so get a single-digit Spider-Man book. Whew. That was definitely... Um, definitely redeeming to a point. Um, it is a 1.0. The you know, first appearance of Electra. I mean, not Electra. First appearance of Electro. See the back of it? I mean, a lot of the damage is on the back here. So, but still cool, man. I mean, there is tape on the cover. They have it listed here, but still a 1.0. This one has recently heated up, too, because of the Spider-Man movie. So, let's see what we got here. He had a $600 value on this. Uh, I mean, we just got that amazing Spider-Man number 9 at a 1.0. Now, it's a very low-graded book. It is a cool book, though. It is super cool to have. I actually have never thought I would own single digit Spider-Man comic books in my collection. Um, this is something I will be keeping. So kind of put things in perspective, he had a $600 price point on this guy. On November 21st, a 0.5 sold for $414. On December 27th, a, a 0.5 sold for $400. And then a 2.0, which was yeah, 2.0 sold for 684. That was at auction. Um, December 20th, a 2.0 sold for 726. Uh, 2.5 sold for 810. So I would say he's probably around the ballpark. This one would probably be valued at five to six hundred dollars. Um, I mean, at the right buyer, I would I would say probably he's not too far off on this one. So it's hard to gauge, especially when you're dealing these old books uh, this is a good starter book so some people will pay up for it sometimes just to own it and uh, because the higher grades are so out of the price range so this is definitely cool um, let's go through recap kind of I mean I'm not even gonna go through the raws because let's be honest super disappointing I mean so let's go through these uh, slabs we got I mean Right here, that was the worst slab in the entire box, the X-Men 8.0. Star Wars slab, which is not my thing, so I'll end up selling that one off. Now, I did get some older comics, which are super cool. I mean, the first appearance of Juggernaut. Um, I mean, that's, that's really cool. Second appearance of Wolverine, even though it's a green label. Still, I mean, so cool book to have in the collection. And probably my favorite book in the entire box was this one right here. Now, I will give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll put 
550, 600 on, on it. Let's just say we'll put 600 on this, okay? On this one, because I say the last box, his slabs are pretty much on point uh, price wise. And uh, so we were at 650, and then there's 600 there. I'm at 1250 bucks, somewhere in that ballpark. So I said, give or take 12, 1200 to 1250. Um, I paid close to 1600 bucks for this. So I'm not happy right now. I'm pretty much, I would say, about 350 to 400 bucks short on value. And these boxes were supposed to be overvalued. Yeah. So what are you going to do?